Okay, section 4.2, number 40, we have y is equal to 1 minus x over x squared plus 3x on the interval from 1 to 4. Okay, um, we're going to try our endpoints, but we also have to find the critical numbers, which means we have to take the derivative, and this is going to be a quotient rule. Remember, it's low d high, so that's x squared plus 3x times the derivative of 1 minus x, which is negative 1, minus high d low, so that's 1 minus x. The derivative of the denominator is going to be 2x plus 3, sorry, 2x plus 3, over the denominator squared, which is x squared plus 3x quantity squared. Okay, and so let me just clean up my numerator here. This is negative x squared minus 3x, and then we're going to be subtracting this product here. This is going to be 2x and then 3 and then um, minus 2x squared and then minus 3x. So we have a 2x and a minus 3x, which is going to make a minus 1x. So it's minus um, 1x and then minus 2x squared and then it was uh, plus 3. Okay, and then you have to distribute that negative all the way through there and clean that up. So let's see what we get. So in the numerator, we have negative x squared minus 3x plus x plus 2x squared minus 3 over x squared plus 3x squared. Okay, now the minus x squared and the 2x makes x squared, and then minus 3x and x makes minus 2x, and then minus 3. So have x squared minus 2x minus 3 over x squared plus 3x quantity squared. And we remember that a, a fraction equals 0 when the numerator equals 0. Um, we do have to think about when the, the function is undefined, but that's going to be when the denominator is 0 which is not in our interval. Our interval was from 1 to 4. So we only have to worry about the numerator. x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. That's going to be, this factors is x minus 3 times x plus 1. So if x equals 3 or x equals negative 1. Those numbers are both critical points, but the interval is from 1 to 4, so we don't need to worry about the negative 1. So now we just need to test our values of our derivative in, I mean, test our values from the derivative. So we test 3, and then also the endpoints, which were 1 and 4, into the original function. So I like to just go to my calculator and type in the function, which was, um, you have to do that in parentheses, so it's going to be 1 minus x divided by x squared plus 3x. So we've got to put that denominator in parentheses. And then we'll go to our table and we'll put in our values of 1, 3, and 4. And then we'll come in here and we'll see that um, at 3, we have the lowest value, negative 0.111. So that's our min at x equals 3. And our highest value is at 1. So we have a max at x equals 1 because the highest value is 0 there.